guys, this is Casey from Ash and Tigress. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I made an LED light up selfie phone case. Personally, I made mine from scratch using hot glue, so a hot glue phone case and some LEDs, but you can totally skip um, the hot glue part and just go ahead and glue your LEDs onto you, your phone and I'll show you how to do that later. But uh, to make it from scratch with hot glue, I'm going to go ahead and wrap both my battery from my LEDs and my phone in some cling wrap and secure it with tape. And as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and tape my battery onto my phone. Just like that. And if you are making your, if, if you're making one from scratch, you want to go ahead and make sure that any buttons or charger ports that are on your LED battery are where you would like them to be pl placed. So we're kind of making like basically a mold or what have you. Then I'm just cutting my LEDs down to size on the little snip lines. And using a tuna can, I am melting three crayons and six glue sticks on the electric stove top. Once melted, I took some, I took a tool to help me hold it and then spread it out all over on top of my phone and battery. If you are thinking about doing this yourself, please use extreme caution um, and don't do this on a really important or expensive phone uh, just as a precaution because it, this is very hot, but as I'll show you um, in a minute or so that my phone was totally fine afterwards and turned on. But I'm just showing you kind of, of how I did it and this is what worked for me. I'm just cutting away all the excess and trimming it and taking out the phone from the cling wrap and all that jazz. Pretty straightforward. And as you can see, my phone did turn on afterwards. So, um, as you might have noticed, I did not um, form man hands. <laughs> this is my boyfriend just kind of helping me out with this uh, super glue. Uh, I do recommend uh, gel super glue for this part because it's a little bit easier to work with. But basically, what I'm doing is just taking that phone case backing that we made with hot glue and gluing the LEDs onto it. Uh, I had to wait about an hour on each side for it to secure properly. So that's just what I'm showing you here. When it's done, it should look something like this. And I apologize for the appearance on here. Uh, if you knew what this phone case went through as far as experiment wise, you would be, you would be amazed. Um, I'm just showing you the LED uh, kind of little wires and before you go ahead and glue 
or secure them into your battery. You want to make sure that you test it first and make sure it comes on. And then once that um, was done, I put a little dot of glue on there just to make sure the wires stay in there. And I didn't have any issues with this. It, My light still turned on after, afterwards and everything, so... Now I'm just covering my phone in some cling wrap again so I can go ahead and make some edges and uh, a lip around all the edge of my phone so it actually stays in the phone case. And it kind of makes it a little bit more streamlined and looks a little bit nicer this way as well. So as you can see, I created um, a lip around all the edges so my phone would stay in. And I am I have my uh, power button uh, just kind of hanging out just so I can show you really quickly what the phone looks like on. Or the phone case looks like on and everything. Um, yeah. But this is what it looks like. The power cord, or the power button and the charging cord port. Oh, jeez will of course not just be hanging out like that if you create a space for it before you go ahead and pour the hot glue if you choose to do this like i said before take extreme caution if you are doing this yourself and i would not really recommend doing this to your phone I, this was just an experiment for mine so i hope you guys like this video and i hope you gained um some ideas from it at least and i'll see you guys next time